Hi everybody, this is Justin, and today I'm going to show you how to take the application that you've built with Microsoft Web Matrix 2 and how to deploy that in, onto the internet. So if you go to Microsoft.com slash web, you're going to see a bunch of links of resources and different information on how to build your application. If you scroll down to the bottom, there's also going to be a list of what we call the Microsoft Hosting Gallery. These are partners that we've worked with that we know provide a great experience for deploying your application. So for today, we're going to focus on Netcetera. This is a host that we've worked with that's worked with Microsoft for some time. They provide a lot of great features for free to kind of test drive out their, their, uh, their host. So you get things like ASP.NET 4.5, MVC3, SQL Server, Node.js, kind of the whole bit. And they've also got great support for Web Matrix. So if we scroll down to the bottom, there's this big orange order button. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And then the first thing they're going to ask us is an address to our application. So we're just going to call this the, the happy fun test time, because I need a name. And after they go out and create this site, they're going to ask us for some pretty basic information. So name, address, city, all that kind of you know, standard stuff. We don't have time for this. And I've actually already signed up for an account. So I'm just going to go ahead to the part where we use Web Matrix to deploy our application to Netcetera. So I'm going to go over to Web Matrix. One of the things they've sent us is a published settings file that contains all of the information we need to publish our application onto their servers. So when I click the Publish button, we're going to get this menu, which is going to allow us to import a publishing profile. This is kind of the easiest way to get started. And I happen to already have this publishing profile they've sent me from the previous account that I signed up for. So I'm going to go ahead and validate this connection. And this contains you know, the server information, username, password, uh, Everything that we need, you know, instead of instead of mucking around with FTP settings, this provides a nice, easy way to get connected to your host. So I'm running a quick publish compatibility test. This is a pretty standard ASP.NET web pages site. And then we're just going to go through our normal publishing process like we would with any other application. Um, I click Continue. And now all of my files are getting uploaded to Netcetera servers. I never had to play around with any FTP settings. You know, I didn't have to use an FTP client. It's all built and canned right inside of Web Matrix. And because of the great partnership that we have with Netcetera, we're able to give you a pretty easy experience to deploy your application. So great. All of the files have been uploaded. We can now click on it. And our site is loaded, and it looks like it's running great. So there you go. That was an example of creating an account with Netcetera and then using Web Matrix to upload an application onto their end of their servers. I hope you enjoyed it.